everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, hi you guys. It's been legit forever. First of all, this is a real old babe box. So grab a snack, come on back. You think I would actually know the month, but I will get that for you in a quick second. So grab a snack, come on back. Make sure you like the video, maybe before the video starts or after the video. Um, and I hope you enjoy this babe box unboxing. Okay, my friends, so I'm going to be unboxing the book Gazer. It's from November 2020. We are now in July 2021. I always have my nice comfy sweater. <laughs> and, um, you know, I hope this video finds you well. And even though it's been a while time, still enjoy the unboxing. So first of all, the book Gazer. I think I was quite surprised. I wasn't too sure that I was still subscribed. And it just kind of appeared at my doorstop. And um, I wasn't mad, of course, um, but I did not know what was coming. Um, and I still remember that happened like in no, like around November 2020. And I was quite surprised because I had no idea the theme, but I'm not mad at it because it's gorgeous. Of course, it's gorgeous. It's the honeybee shop. Shan is so innovative and I love it. And so book gazer. And then I said to myself, what do I do with this beautiful kit? Um, because as you know, I have a lot of seasonal, seasonal, um, mini chunky, um, books. So I'm actually going to create one, which is sort of like a new year book. And I love books. <laughs> I love reading. I love audiobooks. I love stuff like that. And I really like the theme. And think, I think it's going to look really amazing in my new year mini chunky. So I'm going to create another seasonal chunky, but it's more for the new year. And I think this is going to look fabulous. But anyways, let's get into it. The book gazer. Here's the back. You can pause the video. You can see what's inside. And this came out in November 2020. So if you're sad that you've missed it, you can buy the digitals and you can, you know, recreate some of the stuff that comes in the kit. Um, the only thing, and don't get me wrong, it's happened to me. <laughs> I've missed out on a kit. Um, you miss out on like the gold foil or the silver foil. And yeah, it gets, you know, it's one of those things where like, damn. But anyways, I'm sure if you join the Honey Bee Hive, which I have, um, someone out there can probably help you out because I was able to get the bare necessities and that video is going to come out once I get a little bit of things that are missing. Um, and I will do a video on that and that I had to buy everything single. So anyways, here we go. I know I just ramble. Okay, so here we go. Here is the journaling card. It is gorgeous. You see a hot babe with tattoos, some butterfly vibes, um, some yummy tea or coffee. Who knows? Do your drink of choice and some cozy socks and just beautiful. And you get the two skin tones, which are really nice. And here is that journaling card. And I love the stars and it's a silver hollow foil. So that comes with that. Okay, let's open up the paper. Oh my gosh. Talk about illustrious. My goodness. The paper is a mauve, mauve brown, um, purple, if you can. Uh, and it is stunning with the flowers. I like the vibe. It looks a little gray on camera, but it, trust me, it's not. Let me see if I can hold it up a little bit. Um, there you go. Very nudie vibes. Very cute. Love the flowers. On the back, and this is probably my fault because I've just had it sitting in my planner um, basket, and I, pro I probably bent it while it was in the plastic container, pla uh, plastic envelope. But I do know I also had to stop subscribing because my mailman, oh my gosh, just shoving it into my mailbox, and I just could not. I was looking forward to the babe box, but I was so disappointed when I would see it shoved into my little mailbox but we've gotten we've gotten a new community mailbox so I'm really excited so maybe in the future I'm gonna resub but for now I'm using what I have anyways we're met with a beautiful navy with some crosses um, it is stunning some plus signs if you will it's definitely a navy and again I feel like the camera's not picking up the color but it's there trust me so that's a gorgeous let me zoom out my friends there we go okay 
Oh my gosh, look at this. This is pretty. This is awesome. Um, the back is a really nice pinky beige. And then you have some beautiful florals that are here. You also have that beautiful crescent moon and then some headers that says busy babe with some teacups. And the candle is gorgeous. It says old books. And right here it says sweater weather, which I love. And I feel like this would go really well in my fall mini chunky as well. But my fall mini chunky is soups chunks out. Um, but this is why I like the disc system because I don't feel like um, I'm confined. Unlike a ring planner and my, I take my hats off to you guys who have ring planners because I don't know how you do it. Uh, so then we're met with some, um, some uh, grid on navy and the lines are a lighter navy. And then again, the floor. And this is cute. This is like someone ripping the paper off. And that's a really cool, cool vibe. And I like that a lot. All right. Here we have some beautiful geometrical designs. Very leafy. A leaf pattern. I like that. It is a pink mauve and a, um, a pinky beige in the background. I should really get a color chart. <laughs> making up my own colors and then here are some butterflies and that's um cute a little floral on one side of the butterfly wing and um monarch feels right here and again it is not a true white it is a really nice beige off-white very pretty so there is that and my favorites are coming up i mean don't get me wrong everything is only my favorite here we have a gorgeous acetate paper. Wow. Phenomenal. And it is, so this is the correct side. This is the correct, I mean, it could go both sides. Um, it's just a little bit more hazy on that side. But it's the same Monarch Butterflies. And I really love the crescent moons that are in silver foil. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Look at that. Some floral. Sorry about the glares. Um, but it is a beautiful peony rose pattern on silver. Let me check. Yeah, silver foil. And I like on both um, sides, it would look stunning. This is honestly one of my favorites. I feel like I should just put it up on my planner desk wall. But um, I love that. Love, love that. All right. I'm just going to put the um, journaling cards there. That looks cute. So I'm, I hope everything is here because I really did not, I don't know if I went through everything. I don't know if I pulled anything out. I really don't think I did. Okay. We got a washi bookmark. Very beautiful. It is a monarch butterfly and me and washi cards don't mix because I will just end up never using it. Um, but it is stunning as a bookmark in your planner. I mean, who wouldn't love that? It would look stunning just as a pop-up like right here. Look at that. Phenoms. So it acts like a little paper clip too. That looks really cute. Hella cute if you ask me. And again, the same mauve colors. And at the bottom, you have the honeybee shop. So that's pretty. Love it. Okay, now this is really cool. I really like this. And I'm going to pull something out from another babe box. I think it's from Blush Baby. But uh, I'll see. Now, just want to be sure if it's what I think it is. It is um, a pack of three tab cards. Okay, I didn't get a fountain pen, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, it's in the mix. I will find it after. I thought so. I thought so. Hold on. Okay, I found the pen. So yes, yeah, so you get some three hard acetate, um, sorry, acrylic tabs. I really like that they're tabbed up at the top. You can use um, any, you know, tab stickers that you might have. I might use like happy scrappy tabs. And this is from another Bay box. I'm pretty sure it's the blush baby, but I like this. Look at this, you guys. How hella cute is that in there? That's cute. And then you can organize your cards. Or if that's not your jam, I guess you can just like 
put it in your planner. You can maybe stick some die cuts on and then it creates like a really nice hard backing. That's really cute, but I really like that. As soon as I saw those, I thought of this and that was really neat. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Hopefully I don't forget it because it is clear. And here we go. Let's start with maybe these. We get some page flags. They are the translucent, transparent um, um, sticky notes, sticky page flags. And of course, they always like come undone and they're really nice, like so. There we go. And you have a nice gradient of different hues on the same color scheme. So this is like a black, a mauve, a brown. I guess this is more of a mauve. <laughs> Anyways, beige and very pretty, very pretty, very coffee colors. And that's really nice. Vellum page flags, my bad. And I think I'm just gonna leave them in here. I had some happy scrappy ones that came in a similar fashion and I just lost them all. I don't know where they went. Okay. Next, we have some really pretty stickers, and they look like seals, uh, sorry, stamps, but you, there's definitely beautiful seals, and you can use them in your planner. And the same thing, you're met with that same coffee color gradient hues. They come in silver foil. They're beautiful pink, mauvey florals, and this looks like a, like a planner in the background, and it says forever in silver foil there we go forever forever um i think they all say the same thing the first three the middle three <clears throat> and that's beautiful and then here i love these sticker um sticker uh titles for the book gazer i really like that and again silver foil it's very hypnotic very pretty then we have some clear stickers and I really like these a lot. Um, first of all, I love the Lazy Day. I love the font. Shan, I don't know. You need to give us like a scripting class. Um, the penmanship's really pretty. Lazy Day, relax. And I really like the icons in the middle. They are clear stickers, um, which are amazing. And black font. Then we have morning routine, evening routine, night routine, and then it repeats and the same clear stickers with the black, beautiful cursive font. Here we have some journal, and at the top it says it, journal and read stickers. Love the little mini icons. Love the journal icon um, script. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, me time slash self care. These stickers are hella cute. Yes, we need me time. Yes, we need self-care. That is how we strive and thrive, okay? All right, cool. So here we go. One of my favorite things about the Honey Bee Shop is definitely their sticker books. I love that all the stickers are in one pack. I try and keep the beautiful, chunky die cut that comes with it um, in the book. Here is the back, my friends. There are the book gazer stickers. I like all the social media here in case, you know, for example, you know, you just want to put it on. 10 pages. I like how it says the date of the theme. That's really helpful. I don't know if I ever noticed that in the other sticker books, but anyways, here we go. Beautiful, stunning, same coffee theme stickers. They are a glossy, glossy matte with some mm, silver hollow foil. And I love the three different skin tones. And I just love it. It's stunning and amazing quality. Same thing here. That really nice glossy sticker. I mean, it's like, it's on glossy paper, but it's matte. I don't know if that like contradicts itself, but it's beautiful. Love old books. Yes. I have a huge library in my craft room, um, slash library. Like it's a wall unit. It is filled with books between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Oh, it totally is. Oh my gosh. Give me some Anna Green Gables and little house and I am set. 
Here we have some half boxes, quarter boxes, and some washi. Again, that same mauve color. I love how she incorporated the page um, patterns in the stickers. I thought that's cute. Silver foil. Live in the dream over here with some date headers. Can't go wrong with any date headers. Like, that is my gem. I love the speckle glitter in silver foil here with these flags, sticker flags. The to-do is amazing. This is going to look so good in my seasonal yearly planner. Um, make sure you come back for a video in like a few months, not like next week. <laughs> and I will uh, show you, I have this idea and I can't, I, I definitely have the time right now until September starts. So I can't wait to make that. Here we have some icons and yep, some icons, different Beautiful silver fall icons. Can't go wrong with those. I really suck at using them. I always forget. So my goal this year is to use them. Same thing with these. I always forget. And then I also have this tendency, and I said it in one of my last videos, where I feel like I start using my stickers. I'm like, oh no, I want to keep that. That might look good in the future for something else. No, use your stickers, everyone. I know it's so hard. Here we have some check boxes. Um, what I can see is that they are cut. So the circles, if you can see that, the circles are cut in between. So then you can have a, um, a checkbox with circles and you can circle them in. I like how there aren't numbers at the bottom. So if you have an undated planner, you can do that. I really love those. I use those a lot. Love the washi cart. Don't worry, guys. In my last few videos that I've done a bait box reveal, I'm always like, what do I do with these blank spaces? I know what to do. I'm going to take die cuts or these beautiful page seals and I'm just going to stick them on top or if I have some really pretty script, um, maybe from the Happy Planner, I can like put them on, um, on top of there and it looks really good. So that's that. And then, oh, I like this. We have some babes over here. Really pretty. They are doing their thing with their beautiful clothes. And I love the books. I love everything. I love, I love everything. I can't wait to open the die cuts. Oh my gosh, we have another page. I love that. More babes, more beautiful, um, like illustrated stickers. I love the planner desk. That is stunning. It says, you are growing, sorry, you are glowing from this. That's really pretty. There we go. And some books, self-care, and more books at the bottom. Ooh, now we have some clear acetate stickers. Beautiful. Those are nice to overlap. This is what I'm talking about. This over the planner cart would look hella cute. Um, and that would blend really well because they're clear. I think that would look really nice. So that is the sticker book. Really cute. Really awesome. And here we go. Actually, I'm going to leave the die cuts for last. We got also two rolls of washi. I like it. I love it. Sorry. I like how there are different styles. Um, in the bear necessities, I noticed they're, they're both the same. But hey, I'm not mad at it because I love bears. Anyways, I'm talking about a different bay box. There we go. Sorry about my nails. Sorry about my massive sunburn. Um, that's life. So here it looks like a white background with floral and that's cute book gazer vibes and this is some beautiful script and I know I'm, I suck I don't want to open it but um I feel like I see the word slay I think I see the word slay I could be wrong um but I have this thing with my washi where I like to save the seals <laughs> And then I open them up and um, then it looks really good. <laughs> okay, so that's that. That's really cute. I like that a lot. Here is the fountain pen. Oh, beautiful. I think it, it came with um it came with ink. It's somewhere in my planner desk. But I really like the pen. I probably won't use it because I just don't want to destroy it. It is one that you screw off. I used to have one of these when I was a kid, a really nice fountain pen, and you put the ink in. I'm definitely going to have to watch a video of how to put the ink in, but I really like it. Is it labeled? Uh, no, I don't see any logos. 
I don't see any like honeybee shop logos, but that's really pretty. So we got a nice pen along with the ride. And last but not least, my favorite part, the die cuts. And they are chunky, they are bold, they are beautiful. My gosh. Now this is what I call die cuts. They're die cut stickers and they're vinyl and you can use them as stickers or you can just like put them in and make them look hella cute in your planner. Put them in a pocket and then it's just stunning. I don't think I have any pockets in this one. Oh, I guess I do. And then just kind of like, you know, pop that in. That looks sick. So I like that. So first of all, we have the title of the whole theme. Book gazer as it focuses. There we go. Beautiful silver silver foil. And now that you know that, all the foils are probably going to be the same. So no surprises. Here we go. We have a planner babe. She's wearing her peasant top. She looks freaking cute. Old books. I love this candle jar. Love, love, love. Butterfly. Uh, moon vibes. Coffee cup. Beautiful book. What does it say? Kind words to yourself. Oh my gosh. Yes. Kind words to yourself. Oh, this is pretty. I like that. Another title, which is very, I appreciate that. I like those. The butterflies. Three beautiful monarch butterflies with the floral. Here we have a candle. Sweater. Weather. I feel like I'm really butchering that word. Sweater. Sweater weather, sweater weather. We got some three babes, different um, skin tones. Love the variety, love the face. She is stunning. I'm gonna put her here. Let's move this coffee cup over. Totally wreck that. There we go. I think it's in the frame. Yep. Really beautiful floral header at the top. Very pretty. Love that. Here we have another chunky floral. Here is a girl with her head in the books. She is reading her amazing fun book. I love that. Again, three skin tones. Beautiful. I like, I like that we got like three babes. So versatile. I love that. I really do. Because like you use one babe and you're like, oh my gosh, no. I need more. And even though Shan gives us the when you subscribe. You get the digitals. It's really fun. You can make your stickers. You can make your own stickers. And that I appreciate that so much. Books. You are growing from this. There's that sticker. Love the planner desk. Love the computer. Love it. Love the little bookies. And another, the last girl in her peasant top. And there we go, my friends. That is... Wowzers. That is the planner um, kit from the honeybee shop babe box. It is fantastic. This is my last babe box I ever received. Um, like I said, I purchased the bare necessities and that video is going to come soon, but I had to buy everything separate, but this, my friends, oh my gosh, beautiful. I appreciate it. It looks, it's going to look so good in my new year planner. You would think I would have like a book mini chunky, but I don't. I think I'm giving myself an idea, but <laughs> I have seasonal planners. Here is my spring planner. Here is my summer planner. Here is my fall seasonal chunky planner. And last but not least, I have um, a few others. Here is my winter one, which I am not done making like I'm not done making the cover I also have a Sailor Moon theme planner all with Sailor Moon stuff inside and then last but not least I have a Disney this was my honeymoon planner for Disney and um, I used a lot of the honeybee shop um, villains and the other characters and so I really like this as well so I really like her theme, the book gazer. Here's an idea for you guys. You can make a theme planner all about the books that you read or podcasts that you listen to. I think I'm going to make 
maybe a book mini chunky but for now i think i'm gonna do the seasonal uh yearly mini chunky for like the year and i love that so that's it my friends i hope you enjoy this unboxing it's freaking it's sweet time and i'm not mad at it because um it's nice to like go through your stash and be like oh yeah i, I forgot i got that and i'm really happy I, I am going to use it so please make sure you like and subscribe thank you so much for watching it's always nice to revisit things and this is really nice it's july 2021 and we're looking at november 2020 stuff and it's still relevant you know what i'm saying anyways thanks so much for watching have a super duper happy day love you guys bye